when I look out the window and I'm flying into Nantucket, you look at all this amazing open space. And I often think about, can you imagine what this place would be like if it was all developed? And there wasn't the forethought to put all of this incredible land in conservation. Over 9,000 acres of conservation land, 17 miles of coastal shoreline, and 100 miles of walkable and bikeable trails. Over 62 years of protection of natural resources, we have put together something to be proud of and something that has made people want to come back to Nantucket or make Nantucket part of their story, even for a little bit. Over the last few years of strategic planning, we kind of felt like we were hitting our elbows on our current space. It's administration, it's education, it's researchers, and it's land managers all in one crowded little office. So we are growing and that's amazing, but it means more staff. And our current building is in a residential neighborhood. It was not at all built to be an office building. It was built to be a clubhouse for an old golf course. We've been making it work. It's just not functioning for us anymore. If we want to grow as an organization, we need a space to do it. We hope to create a cultural and educational hub at the Milestone Center that brings people into the rich history of Milestone Cranberry Bog, but also the living history, what we are trying to do as a conservation-focused nonprofit in our modern era. It's not just an office building, it's so much more. I see this as a gateway. Bring people into the work that we do and then bring them out into conservation. We need a dedicated herbarium. We need a lab space for us and for other people, for visiting researchers, for our conservation partners. We need a classroom where we can bring kids in, where we can bring adults in, where we can give lectures, where teachers can come and bring their kids. We are also improving the trails around Milestone and give them access to some of these still actively maintained cranberry bogs. Milestone Cranberry Bog has a history all its own. 160 years of cranberry cultivation on this property alone. By positioning the Milestone Center here, not only are we bringing the public to the forefront of that history, we can better showcase the work that our cranberry growers are doing. And we can ensure that we can keep cranberry growing alive on Nantucket for as long as possible. It's been something that we've been hearing more and more from the community that they want native grown plants from a native seed stock for their own properties. This will give us the ability to grow out some of those plants and potentially provide them to community members. So it's not just for us and our restoration, but it's also for the community as well. We are building employee housing. Dozens of bedrooms that will allow us to keep up with the demand for what we're setting for the future and allow us to provide year-round housing for our staff. It's an essential component. We want to be able to bring in qualified people to work for NCF and we want to be able to retain that staff. We don't want to see people not be able to work at NCF anymore because they haven't been able to secure housing on the island. It's, it's really a critical piece of this next step for NCF. 50% of this island protected as open space gives us a way to step away from the computers every single day. Get out, protect your mental health, get some fresh air, enjoy nature. We want to encourage kids to get outdoors, get their hands dirty, and want to be interested in science. And I think that this is just a perfect spot for that to happen. It's really important to instill in these kids not only that connection with the natural world, but a sense of place and an appreciation that their community is leading the charge in showing what true, impactful, heartfelt conservation means. We are enormously appreciative for those friends and family that have helped us get to where we are today, but we're not gonna close the deal without support of new friends and family. Building this Milestone Center will have an impact that is a legacy. And it's funny because 
we're creating a legacy in the same space that we're protecting one. My grandfather, who had this big rambling house out on Cliff Road, and before he and my grandmother were off to one of a few cocktail parties in the evenings, he used to shout as he was leaving the front door, leave it better than you found it. And what he meant was, please don't rip apart my house and the wet towel should be hung up and the cushion should be back, put back on the couch. But it's emblematic of the Conservation Foundation as well. Let's all do what we can to ensure that those that come after us will have the benefit of enjoying this incredibly special place much like we have.